What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're going over one of the options for the best LED garage lights. Uh, best bang for the buck. I want to show you guys a new offering that I found. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. If you're interested in what I have to say, you gotta stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're here at Jonathan's house. If you haven't met Jonathan already, his channel is always up too late. I'm gonna roll in a link to his channel in the description below so you guys can check out his channel if you want. So we're here in his garage and his garage lighting has a little bit to be desired. Um, so he's rocking just the regular old LED bulbs. Um, they do okay. I mean, they, they uh, are bright when you look at them, but really they need some help. So. I had, you know, just been given the lights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say it. I've been given the lights by Bring LED. Let me grab one. I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, Bring LED uh, reached out to me and they said, you know, we want you to test and review these. Um, you know, I'm always gonna come at you with 100% uh, real data and real information. I'm not gonna BS you guys. If it's worth the money, I'm gonna say it is. And if it's not worth the money, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel and be honest. So, what do you think about this light, Jonathan? I mean, sight unseen. It looks like a UFO <laughs> yeah, in a right. lot of ways. I think that it's, a, I mean, it feels heavy, which is good, I think, because it feels like substantial. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it or anything, which is real nice. I think it's a wild design, like, unlike anything I've ever seen. I, I excited, definitely excited to see like what this is gonna look like, yeah. especially compared to these. I mean, they like, they work as far as bulbs go, like they are on, right? but they don't really light things up all that well, unfortunately. Right, so one of the things that I got for the video was a light meter. This is a legitimate light meter. I'm not gonna do any BS off my phone with an application. Um, we're gonna get real-time data here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do two static uh, spots where the light meter sits during the video and uh, we're gonna do one directly underneath the bulb and we're gonna do one directly in between the bulb. So, uh, and we'll have a GoPro to roll in some footage of us in the overall scheme of the garage and just how well it's improved or not improved. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna take you guys off the bench here and I'm gonna show you exactly how many lux we are getting uh, right where I had just explained. Okay, so directly in between the two lights in the garage, we are at 46, let's call it 46.5. All right, now we're going to move this directly underneath the lamp. And we'll go ahead and call it, it's going up a little bit to about 46, well, see, about 46.5. Mm -hmm. So it, it reads about the same in both locations. So it might be just about the same. So let's go ahead and put you guys on the bench. We'll time lapse through. We're gonna replace these bulbs and we're going to put our Bring LED lights in and see what it does. Yeah, I'll do this one, you do the other one. The key is do not look directly into these because <laughs> they are going to be bright. Do I can you want the lights off? No, why no. would we do something like that? <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and... Are these hue bulbs? Uh, no. No, those are just the regular... Uh, wow, those are heavy. They're... I don't think they're hue. They shouldn't be. Alright, here we go. Uh, don't look at it. <laughs> okay, I'm not looking at it. I want to look at it. I do want to look at it, but I can't because I'm... Tr like, I'm trying real hard. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. There we go. Oh, okay. whoa. Alright. Oh, no way. Okay, so do we want to point them straight down or do we want to angle them up a little bit? I think, uh, yeah, angling them up seems pretty, because it's starting to move light into here too. Okay. Where it wasn't really before. All right, so let's just go ahead and angle them up a little bit like that. That is insane. All right, I will let you put the other one in there. <laughs> let's move the ladder over here. The base of that bulb is hot. Which one? Oh, that one that was on? Yeah. Yeah, those LEDs shouldn't get hot, but they do for whatever reason. Doing an unboxing. Right. Yeah, 
cardboard. All right, let's, uh, yeah. Is that the cover? I assume that's the cover that goes on that thing? Yes. Okay. Let's try this out. Yeah, these, I think these are great value, actually, I believe. How much are these, What? which ones are great value? Uh, no, these are GE. These okay. are GE 1700 lumens, and they're 5,000 Kelvin, is what those are. So these bring LED lights that we've got, um, they're marked at 6,000 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin, but um, they're probably right around, I don't know exactly what hue they are. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of harsh when you're right up against it. So wild. angle it how you'd like here, whichever way you'd like. Um, we're going to do some the real test, um, you know, with exactly how you would want to to aim them in your garage, and not necessarily just a flat area here. So I think it has in, increased it quite a bit. Now, right now. Um, you know, we'll roll in the before and after of the uh, the GoPro footage will tell us the before and after um, right here of the area. Wow. I didn't know you had a chainsaw, dude. Right? Yeah. Wow. Right. Look at you. Okay. Yeah. All right. All farm right. boss. You got the farm boss. Okay. Sorry. I got off topic. Right. So, <laughs> all right. So now let's take our Lux meter and already we're at 184. All right, right up underneath the light is 436, 439. Yeah, so even if you were at, let's pick it up here, even at, um, you know, now I'm ab about head level here. <laughs> Look at that, so 800. So where we were at before was about, what was it before? Was it 67 or 47? I think it was 47. 46.5, 46. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll roll it in here. It so. definitely wasn't 800. <laughs> so, so, okay, that's that's awesome. All right, now let's place this back into the middle of the garage where it was before. And I have to, I have to think about it. I have to move away from it. 342. So that is a great, great, great improvement over your old bulbs. That is wild. So get your calculator out here. Yeah. And I forget what we had before. I really do. Um, Forty. Just look, let's just put forty six point four. Mm -hmm. And then you know it was to give it a fair shot here. It was forty six point four before, and now we're at let's say four fifteen. Well, it's about a ten x improvement. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's a that's ten x. So even in, and it's even more if you're up here by the, you know, by head level. If you're, in, if you're a head level, it's 800. Which is so that's 20, 20 times 20 the improvement. Times, yeah. All right, guys, so you saw that, uh, I mean, we didn't stop rolling the camera. Um, that was one of the things that I definitely wanted to do was uh, put them up in real time. I give you the before and after during the GoPro. Uh, we've got the real time real-time readings right here on a light meter, uh, 10 to 20 times the improvement right. over a regular LED bulb. So would you say how many uh, watts were those bulbs? Uh, I'll tell you. These are 16 watt, okay. 5,000 Kelvin, 1,700 lumens. Okay, so 1,700 lumens. Uh, these uh, bring LED lights are claiming 8,000 lumens. So you can see it definitely anywhere from 10 times to 20 times brighter than the standard bulb that was in here. And I can definitely tell a difference. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to run out and get you one of these lights, they cost 35 to $45, depending on what Calvin rating you want, which is the hue of the bulb. Um, some of the dimmer ones, if you want like a 60 watt model, you can, you'll be right around the $35 mark. Um, and then if you get a 80 watt version in 6,000 Calvin, like I was given, um, they are about 45 bucks. So I think that they are definitely a thumbs up. I think they're definitely well worth the money. So um, I would definitely tell you if they were bunk, 
Um, as far as longevity, that's going to be somebody's you know big question is longevity on these, and should I spend the money? Uh, I don't know the longevity. I mean, we're literally that we're in the first five minutes of burn time on these LEDs. How long would they last? Um, in different climates of the United States and the world, you know, if you're in Dubai and it's 140 in your garage, right. you know, maybe they won't last. I don't know. Uh, but here in Ohio, I mean, I think they're going to last a good long while. Um, it depends on how much you use your garage lighting. It's all subjective to your condition. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out Jonathan's uh, channel and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.